Good morning and welcome to the New England Wildflower Society's Garden in the Woods. Come on inside and we're going to talk plants. I'm Dan Jaffe, the plant sales coordinator at Garden in the Woods, and this is a blueberry. More specifically, this is Vaccinium angustifolium, the lowbush blueberry. It's May and the blueberries are in full bloom. We oftentimes focus our attentions on the fruits of the blueberries, and though the fruits are well worth the focus, one should not overlook the ornamental aspects of the blueberries. In addition to the spring flowers, they turn vibrant shades of red and orange in the fall, making them a great native replacement for the invasive burning bush. While the more sun they receive, the more blueberries will ultimately be produced. The blueberry species themselves are actually quite shade tolerant. If you come take a walk on our ridge trail, you'll see lots of little blueberries lining the trail all the way through the woods. They really don't get much sun at all in there. Blueberries are buzz pollinated. What this means is that in order for the flowers to release their pollen, they must be exposed to a very specific frequency. Our native bees have evolved to vibrate their wings at just such a frequency in order to access the pollen within the blueberry's flowers. While one plant will produce fruit, it's recommended you plant two blueberries to facilitate cross-pollination. This will result in a bigger and tastier crop of blueberries.